Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do um, a lot of things actually. I'm going to talk about the February budget. I'm going to do a uh, talk through about an in-between budget and then I'm going to talk about a March budget because um, everything is changing. Um, I will explain that with like a little bit of an update of my life, but um, I will maybe put timestamps in this video like right now of when I talk about different things um, so that you guys aren't, you know, getting bored and wondering when I talk about something else. So the life update will be right now. Um, then I'll go through the old budget, then I'll look at the in-between budget, and then the new March budget. So um, let's talk. Let's start talking about Tuesday. Um, as you can see, there was a baby sign. I told you guys I was going to get a sonogram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd know the whole update of my story. But I went for the sonogram and there wasn't good news. Um, well, the baby was fine, but I have problems with my cervix. This might be a little maybe TMI, but I have a short cervix, which means I could go into possible um, premature labor and have the baby very soon. And I am only 20, 25 weeks today, which is the 24th. And I was only 24 and two days along here. Um, also, if I'm being super quiet, it's because my son's finally sleeping. So don't worry about that. Um, anyways, so yeah, I had to go to the ER. I got admitted. Um, all this caused a little bit of financial issues I had to take from my emergency fund everything was paid for in the hospital but it was just like the food that I needed and some stuff that I needed um, I needed to take from that emergency fund but thank god we have it and that was no problem I didn't feel guilty at all using it um, because it was such a crappy time. I was in the hospital overnight and then we had to drive out of town, um, and use gas money. So that's also where the emergency, um, fund came from. So that's a little bit of an update there. Um, we got home late afternoon on Wednesday. Um, so with all the tests that I did and whatnot with having a short cervix, I am now on um, like a bed rest, like a just a restricted movement type of thing. I'm not laying in bed all day, whatever. Um, so that has caused me to not work anymore. And so that means I will be on EI soon. Um, with this whole um, budget journey, I forgot to add in my debts that I owed the government like $400. Um, when I had my son, they automatically assumed that I was with my boyfriend at the time, um, which I was, but still I didn't claim it um, until taxes of the next year. So when I got a GST check in January and April, when it came to tax season, they said I didn't um, I wasn't supposed to get that because we make too much. So in return, I owed them that $400 back. Um, and I forgot about it ever since um, until recently. So now thinking about when I go on EI, they will take that $400 back, um, which leaves me to have no income in March at all. I don't think I'll be seeing a paycheck just because it takes a little bit long um, of a long time and process to um, get on EI in the first place. And then with the troubles of me owing them money, um, that means I will not get a paycheck. <laughs> so in return, that means that I am budgeting for my husband's income only. Um, we will be strictly a one family income for the next month or whenever I get my EI, but it's not going to be that much. So, um, what I've done is I've saved everything possible that I've, that I have from week three, um, and week four, I'm going to save. And then, um, that money will go into a rollover fund, which will then roll over to March. So I have the funds, um, so I have the funds to budget out a proper um, budget, 
with the proper amount of funds because my husband's income does not cover everything that we need. Um, we already cut back as much as possible, so that wasn't possible or doable for us. So, um, yeah, I usually, like, when I was working, I only made a thousand dollars a month, but that still helped. I still had, we still had a little bit of money left over, but now that I'm off of work officially, I will not be seeing <laughs> a lot of money from now till I have the baby, and even then on maternity leave, I will be on that same payment. So, um, my budgets will be a lot stricter. I will not have a lot of money left over at the end of the day. Um, I also will have very small, um, debt snowballs, but even if I have a debt snowball, um, right now I'm actually pausing the debt snowball altogether. I'm saving every last penny that we have into um, our baby fund because if I have this baby early and premature, I have to go out of town and live, um, <laughs> I don't wanna say where, but I have to live in a town about 10 hours away from me, or a city, sorry, um, that can sustain me and my baby um, being premature. And there's a very good chance that I will have this baby early, so I'm doing everything possible to get those funds in order for me and my baby so we can live comfortably, not stressed out my husband, and he will s most likely still have to work. So um, it's just a very scary time for us. This was the worst two weeks of our lives. Um, thank God I haven't had the baby yet, but um, it's always a possibility. So I think that brings us up to date with, um, with the news about my, oh, oh yeah. Um, I had a gender reveal. I didn't do the party because I am on bed rest. I had a small family gathering um, Wednesday night. My mom flew in. Um, she lives about 12 hours away from me, so she flew in. She was worried that I was going to have the baby. Um, I didn't. <laughs> so when we got back from the town that we were away from, about an hour and a half away, um, my mom got into town, and then we finally wanted to have some good news in our lives so um we did a gender reveal and I'm having a baby girl which is so exciting because I already have a son and my husband and I really wanted a daughter either way I would love to have had another son but it's just so exciting for us so yeah we gotta save for baby girl make sure she stays in my tummy that's why I'm just trying to relax and focus on not stressing myself out so hopefully this new budgeting plan will <laughs> make me less stressed out and figure my stuff out. So let me explain what I'm thinking. So my budget was going to end on the 27th because I was going to get paid on the 28th. Now that this paycheck is only going to be say about $200, nothing too crazy, um, I have to then pay my Jeep insurance and my Wi-Fi bill um, because, how do I explain this? Okay, my husband gets paid on the 22nd, then he gets paid on the 8th, and then he gets paid on the 22nd. So, from, from the 7th and on back to February, I need to pay all that stuff in this paycheck and in this paycheck because I'm going to start our new budget for March, starting on the 8th, and it goes until April 4th. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to um, extend February to about, um, not. we're not gonna end it the 27th, we're going to end it the 7th, because my husband gets paid on the 8th. I have no more paychecks, so I can't start the new bi-weekly period with my paychecks because I have none. So with that being said, um, I'm going to actually explain um, with, with my Erin Condren, I feel like I'm always, I don't have enough pages, like the monthly, my full budget, my bi-weekly budgets and then my weekly tracker. Oh, and then I'm done. You know, like I don't have room to be creative or add more pages or anything like that. So what I did is if you've been with me for a long time, a long time on my channel, 
you will know that I have this budget binder which is actually kind of cool and this is the way I started and then when it was around my birthday I talked myself into getting an Erin Condren just because I had a ton of stickers and I really like them and I also compare myself to other YouTubers so um <laughs> I really wanted Erin Condren but um I went back to this budget binder because I feel like my thoughts get processed out a lot easier like I don't feel as confused and I can write out my ideas and I can add pages I can subtract pages if I screw up on a page I can just rip it out and print off a new one so um yeah that's where that is so when talking about February um my husband gets paid on the 22nd and to make it to that March paycheck of the 8th, I had to do an in-between kind of budget. So it's an extension of February's budget, but I'm just kind of tapering it off by itself so I can focus on this instead of an entire month before. So what that looks like is a baby check here. I got a back pay because I got a raise in September, um, but it's kind of like a top up. So I got a dollar for every hour I worked from September to December. And yes, that's not a lot, but I worked part time. And then my husband got paid here. So then we had to pay the Jeep um, payment. We had to pay my MasterCard, his credit card, cell phones, bank fees. And then I get paid on the 28th. I only think it's going to be about $200 because I only worked two days and then got a stat day. And then for March, before my husband's paycheck on the 8th, we have the Jeep insurance due and the internet due. So I have to pay that in these paychecks. Um, as you can see, the yellow is paydays and the pink is bills. So that is exciting. Um, I also... Okay, since that's out of the way, I want to talk about, there's so many things to talk about. Um, so this right here is the February budget. Um, as you can see, I saved $615.50, which is so exciting. And I did that by having these paychecks as well. So that was week three. Um, week four, I shouldn't have too much. So week four is going to be from the 22nd to the 27th. And then week five is going to be from the 28th to the 7th. So, um, I did up some numbers and I, with the bills that I still have to pay and I took out a hundred dollars for like groceries and stuff it's only till thursday and it's sunday already and we have lots of groceries i should have about 330 dollars to roll over for week four and then um like these paydays are paying all of the pink so my payday will be just by itself um, i don't have to pay anything with that so um i think i'll be able to save about around five hundred dollars if i stick to the budget really tight um if i only spend like a hundred dollars on groceries in the next um week and a half but we'll see um i my husband already took money for gas and his bank account so i think we'll be good um so now i kind of want to go into this February budget. I'm just going to move this. I'll zoom you guys in. I made a daily spending tracker for my bank account so I know exactly what's coming out of it and I even labeled them. Um, I'll zoom you guys out so you can see. Income is yellow, green is savings, pink is bills, Purple is the fees that I have, and blue is cash envelopes. Um, so now you can see up here that I have highlighted all of those, and you can see exactly um, how much came out of my account. I am tracking um, my bank account with the cash envelopes because I'm not doing cash envelopes anymore. With me being on this strict movement 
whatever, <laughs> being on bed rest pretty much, I cannot go to the bank every week. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't go um, get myself coffee. So um, my husband is really bad at keeping track of cash. There's, He's just known for it. So there's no way that he can keep all that cash in order or not lose the change or not keep the receipts. And I just don't have the time or energy to go through every single transaction and wonder where, where's the change or where's the extra cash or anything like that. So what we have agreed on is that I keep the money in my bank account and I just highlight here what it is and what category like it comes out of. So I'll be able to keep track there. Um, I hope you guys aren't disappointed that I'm not doing cash envelopes anymore. It's just the circumstance that I'm in. I'm not able to do the things that I used to do um, with being on this <laughs> strict of um, kind of like a bed rest type of thing. So um, I hope you guys don't think I'll be <laughs> a boring channel because I don't do cash envelope stuffings. But um, you'll see my weekly... Um, cash envelope stuffings though of the money that I save which I have already here onto the side so if you're interested in that just keep watching so now I'll show you guys this budget this is my bi-weekly budget I filled some of it out so you guys could see what my layout is and how I did a little bit of it so this is the bi-weekly budget from February 21st to March 7th so as you can see, my husband got paid. Um, I haven't got my income yet because it's not the 28th. Um, I got the baby check and I got my back pay. So I did it in blue so you guys could really see it. Um, I also show you here, I'll zoom you guys in, that my husband sent me 16.32.84. He kept 70, 50 for gas and 20 for um, his account that says um, ACC there by the way that means account and then you can see the check-in I'm going to do um, weekly check-ins of my bi-weekly budget just to see how I'm doing throughout the week um, so I can also update it um, as I go along the week so that is cool I also put this in um, put a note section here so I can tell myself that it's in savings I transfer um, rent every two weeks to the savings account and um, the Jeep payment so that when it automatic automatically comes out, I can transfer my savings money into my checkings account so that it doesn't bounce. I um, hope that makes sense. And then here at the end are the results of my bi-weekly paycheck. So there's a remaining total of $600. So we'll see i don't think i'll make that much so yeah um anyways it's already uh 18 minutes long <laughs> so um i'm going to do a separate video of my march budget um this update will definitely help you understand my march budget first i'm going to show you guys my cash envelope stuffings so I have a baby category and a rollover. I told you guys I saved um, $615.50. I have it here. So we're just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundred into the rollover fund for the March budget. This will make sense in my March budget as well, where that $600 comes in. And then this fifteen fifty is going into the new baby fund. So anything that I save from week four and week five will go into this cash envelope for the baby. So yeah, this video is getting long. So I will do the my March budget in the next video. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Um, please stick with me in these hard times. Um, think of me please and leave your comments below I love talking to you guys especially when I'm by myself at home now with my son so yeah I hope you guys um, consider subscribing to my channel and continue watching my videos thank you guys bye